<laughs> oh, Rigsby, do you have to creep up behind me like Oh, because you never get tired of looking at yourself, do you? You wear that mirror out the way you're going on. I was just running a comb through it. You were trying to make your eyebrow go up and down again, weren't you? <laughs> no, I wasn't. Yes, you were, I can tell. You look as if you're having a fit. You won't get a woman that way, you know. As a matter of fact, this detached, cynical expression pulls the birds. I get quite a few looks. Yeah, I'm not surprised. <laughs> You're probably waiting for someone to throw a net over you. <laughs> well, there's nothing wrong with having an expressive face, Riggs, but it shows character. Cobblers. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right. How do you suggest I express my... Well, why don't you go out and get yourself tattooed? That's what we used to do. <laughs> tattooed? Yes. Is that your idea of expressing yourself? I suppose I'd look better with a dancing girl all over my chest. It's the only way you'll ever get one, there. <laughs> Not anymore. I've decided to change my image. Oh, well, I'm very glad to hear it. I've hey, been is this new image going to clean the bath out after him? <laughs> I've been neglecting myself long enough. Uh, you can let yourself go without noticing it, you Hey, know? hey, this new image would nothing to do with our friend here, would it? No, what should it? Because that's his jacket you're wearing. Oh, well, I just thought I'd try it on. Yes. Hey, that's not the only thing you're trying on as well. What do you hey. mean? Well, I, I understand you've been telling Miss Jones the conditions appear to be disgusting. Ah, well, as a matter of fact, Rigsby, we feel that it's... Oh, a... oh, oh, we feel? Oh, we, we. He's only been here five minutes and it's we feel. Yeah. Yes, I knew he caused trouble. No, it's not causing trouble. It's just that Philip feels that it's a bit overcrowded up here. Overcrowded? He's never known luxury like it. I told you, never had a pair of shoes until he came here. <laughs> not again. <laughs> Pinching his feet, you can tell. He has them off as soon as he can. They've got to feel the ground under the toes. <laughs> he's the son of a chief. Yeah. Those shoes he wears are me. All right, so he's the son of a chief. All that means is his mud a bit bigger than all the other mud <laughs> Anyway, I wouldn't get too attached to him if I were you. Who said I was attached to him? I noticed you haven't gone home this weekend. Ah, oh, well, you know what it's like at my parents' place. Saturday night's either rug-making or insulating the roof. Mm. <laughs> well, at least Philip's interesting. Inter what's interesting about him? Well, it's the son of a chief. Yes, we know, we know. He's got ten wives. <laughs> <laughs> ten wives? <laughs> Nutty. <hell. laughs> of course, marriage doesn't mean the same to them, does it? They get married whenever there's a hurricane. <laughs> You know, they think God's angry with them. Yes, well, I'm going to keep a very close eye on him. He's already been making himself a nuisance with Miss Jones, hanging around, flashing his teeth at her. You're not jealous, are you? Of course I'm not jealous. You wouldn't give him a second look. I don't know. White woman out there might have quite a lot of status. We don't know how many bags of salt she might be worth. Could you watch your tongue. <laughs> I can see her now, going down to the river. A few hoops around her neck. A pile of washing on her head. Oh, I knew you wouldn't understand, as if she'd get involved with anybody like him. <laughs> Philip, <laughs> you promised to come down last night. What happened? No, I couldn't. Rigsby was painting your door. I know, that was the fifth coat. <laughs> I think he suspects. He even paints the doorknob. <laughs> well, you see, we must be careful. There's only one answer. I must come to you. No. I mean, what about Alan? Well, he always goes home on Fridays. I know. I'll bring a nice bottle of wine and we can have one of our long talks. <laughs> no. I mean, what about? About us, Philip. We've got to see if we can make it work. Make what work? Black on white, Philip. <laughs> <laughs> Don't do that. Do what? Roll your eyes like that. It's not nice. You did that last <laughs> night. Good heavens, anyone would think you were bored. <laughs> Only Daddy can see me now. He must be rotating in his grave. Why? He wanted to keep Britain white. <laughs> Perhaps we should respect his memory. Oh, Philip. No, we must live our own lives. We must defy convention. Jones, I just... I must go, Ruth. <laughs> <laughs> Do you mind if I just check your paintwork while I'm here, Miss Jones? I thought it might need another coat. It's had five already, Mr Rigsby. Oh, I said, no, Miss Jones, but it's, uh, it's groaning for it. <laughs> Must you do it at midnight? Well, it's the best time. There's nobody knocking about then. At least there shouldn't be. <laughs> I thought you went home at the weekend. Oh, no, not, not every weekend. Oh, you don't mind, do you? No, not at all. Rigsby's going to paint Ruth's door. Not again. He says it's groaning for it. It's not the door that's groaning for it. <laughs> <laughs> no, he's getting worse. And it's worse than being in college, this. We won't be able to do any entertaining, you know. Do you mean women? Yeah. You're not against them, are you? Not against them often enough. <laughs> <laughs> I'm quite handsome in that respect. <clears throat> yeah, I thought you, thought you might be. Why? Pardon? Why do you think that? 
Ah, oh, well, I didn't think you'd have my inhibitions. I've got inhibitions you haven't even heard of. <laughs> um, they say you've got ten wives. Yes. Ten wives. <laughs> Don't you find ten a bit intimidating? No. It's like driving in traffic. You only see the one in front. <laughs> You circumcised? Uh, well. <laughs> yeah, no, I was, I was only asking. Oh, yeah? Yes. I am. Rotten, isn't it? You should have it done when you're 13, in the bush, with a blunt knife. Is it painful? It does make your eyes water a little. <laughs> I suppose it's a custom, is it? Oh, they're mad about it in my country. They even do the girls. I like it. How did they do that? I don't know. <laughs> I don't stare quite as hard as you do. Oh, sorry. I could do with a little more privacy around here. Nah, you're all right. Nobody ever comes up here. Oops, money backs. <laughs> Didn't you ever knock, Ruby? We could right. do with a key to that door. We don't need keys here. At least we didn't. Besides, I've got... Mm -hmm. <laughs> I've got enough access. But we can't even lock the bathroom door. We have to wedge a chair against Look, it. I told you, if you're in there, all you've got to do is keep whistling. We can't <laughs> whistle all the time. What's the matter? Frightened someone's going to come in and sink your boat? You have a right to some privacy. Oh, I suppose you're used to better things, aren't you? That wouldn't be difficult. Mm. There's, there's, there's something I don't understand about you, Sunshine. If you're the son of a chief, why are you called Smith? Well, that's not my real name. Of course it isn't. Well, what's your real name? I can't tell you that. My real name is known only to the elders. Oh. You see, my people believe that if a man has your name, that he can harm you. But he can take your name and work evil with it. Uh, yeah, we got people like that in this country. We call them the police. <laughs> Rigsby, you don't understand. Philip's name's Taboo. Well, if his name's Taboo, why can't he say so? He's so secret about it. I think he's just trying to get away from those ten wives, eh? <laughs> ten wives? I've, ne I've never heard anything like it. Why shouldn't I have ten wives? I'm not poor. I'm not sick. Well, I think it's indecent, and I'm surprised the missionaries didn't put a stop to it. Missionaries? Yeah. You don't need missionaries. Well, why not? Because I happen to be a god, that's why not. <laughs> you what? It's it's joking. You ask my people. They don't think it's a joke. I, 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 I don't know if you can say it. He's got the nerve to say that. It's such a wonder he doesn't strike you down dead. I suppose it's some kind of primitive belief, is it? No, it isn't. It's simply that my people believe that I've inherited certain supernatural powers from our ancestors. Oh, yes. Well, you're not dealing with ignorant savages now, mate. You're dealing with educated white men. And I can prove you're not a god. Do a miracle. What? <laughs> Go on, do a miracle. <laughs> if you've got magic powers, what are those dirty pots doing in the sink? <laughs> Should have thought you'd let those wash and stack. Come on, Mary Poppins, what are you hanging about for? <laughs> My powers relate mainly to the forest and the hunting of animals. Oh, yes, I bet they do. That's very convenient, isn't it? Oh, I have to be <laughs> careful. It's quite a responsibility. Yeah. Sometimes I only have to look at a person and something unpleasant happens, especially when they've annoyed me. The result <laughs> can be quite horrible. What do, you, what do you mean, horrible? Well, we don't want you turning into a frog, do we, Rigby? <laughs> <laughs> I don't think I believe all that. You don't frighten me, mate. <laughs> Go on, then. Go on. Why don't you tell me to walk on? Give me the evil eyes. Strike me down. <laughs> What's that? 10.25 to Macclesfield. Oh. <laughs> Yeah, you see, you can't do anything because you're dealing with 20th century man-made, not some relic from the Stone Age. <laughs> all right. I'll work a miracle. You what? <laughs> What's all this, then? Oh, he's got that out. <laughs> oh. <laughs> this spear <coughs> belonged to my ancestors. It has considerable power. Hey, what are you going to do, Philip? I'm going to make something appear. But you must be very still. Hey. Happen. Oh dear, I seem to have come to the wrong room. I'm terribly sorry. There must be all those little red tablets I'm taking. Excuse me. Is it raining? Don't think so. Do you like England, Philip? It's all right. What do you like best? I think the air. 
Telephone boxes. They're rather nice. Is it all? I like the swimming pools. I suppose that's because they're no crocodiles. <laughs> Do you have many crocodiles in your country, then? Well, there's more water than land in my country and more crocodiles than people. Do they attack you? Of course they attack you. What do you think they do? Swim up and give you a big kiss? <laughs> what do you do? You wrestle with them. <laughs> Can you smell paint? Just giving a quick uh, go. You know, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. Now, you two never stop reading, do you? We've got exams. Uh, yeah, we use our brains too much, you know. The danger of that from you, Rigsbig. <laughs> well, oh, yeah, there's nothing wrong with my brain, mate. I passed the scholarship. I didn't know that. Ah. Never went, of course. <laughs> uh, we're a very poor family. My environment was against me. Yeah. Never stood a chance at the interview. Not in gumboots. <laughs> What's wrong with gumboots? Nothing. When it's raining, in the middle of a heat wave, they look rather ridiculous. <laughs> so very poor, couldn't afford shoes. And wearing gumboots right through the year, it branded you. <laughs> Especially around the back of the leg. <laughs> yes, and children can be very cruel, you know. They used to pour water in them. I spent most of the day squelching around the classroom. <laughs> No, I never stood a chance. Yes, they gave my place to a kid named Porter. Yeah, his parents had money. They took him up in an aeroplane to cure his whooping cough. <laughs> All I got was a walk around the gasworks. <laughs> ah, I see he's soaking up the white man's knowledge, eh? Yes, oh, they're always criticising us, but they know where to come for a decent education, eh? Cradle of civilization, this country. And what part of our rich island heritage are you taking back? I'm specialising in town and country planning. Oh, yeah. Oh! <laughs> oh, yeah. I mean, there's a real demand for that in the jungle. <laughs> yeah. One thing to cry now for is a regular dustbin collection. <laughs> you know what I plan to do with the jungle, Rigsby? Yeah, well, I'm going to tarmac it. <laughs> tarmac it? <laughs> well, the worst parts, what do you think? Uh, yeah, well, I suppose it's an idea, yes. A masterstroke. <laughs> Pictured it. Where there was once only the mosquito, there'll be trees growing out of black, velvet, tarmac. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> There'll be fluorescent street lights, white lines, bus shelters, litter baskets, car parks. Can you see it, Rigsby? Yes, it should look very nice. <laughs> and of course, zebra crossings. <laughs> oh, how very funny. <laughs> Very you don't think I believe all that stuff last night, did you? All that magic and supernatural powers and being a god. Just because Miss Jones ac accidentally, in a fit of absent-mindedness, uh, came into this room, which was pure coincidence. Is that why you're painting the door? Look, can't you see? He's just, just trying to capitalise on it. Look, I, I, I'm not superstitious, mate. Listen, I defied you last night. I defy you now. Go on. Go on. Why don't you turn me into a frog? Turn me into a horrible monster. Frog would be easier. Shut up. <laughs> Come on, come on. You can't, can you? No, because it's all in the mind. <laughs> oh, oh, God! <laughs> 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 You're going out? Yes. Thought I might go out tonight. There's a good film on at the plaza, I, uh... I had to get the clothes off in the first ten minutes. <laughs> I don't I suppose you thought of going yourself. No. Hey, we could go to the flea pit. They're showing Zulu again. <laughs> That's hot. Have you got any ideas? I've got a date. Oh. If you're on your own. No, no, no. I could always go and see one of my birds. <laughs> Trouble is, I usually go home at the weekends. Why didn't you take root to the pictures? Ruth? She wouldn't like clothes off in the first ten minutes. <laughs> so I she wouldn't come. Why don't you ask her? I think she likes you. Does she? Nah, she's older than me. But more experienced. What, Miss Jones? She's so reserved. You'd be surprised. <laughs> we have a flower in my country. It's very remote, very inaccessible. You have to climb the mountain to see it. It only flowers once every ten years. But when it does... <laughs> as good as that? All I can say is, 
It's well worth the climb. <laughs> Darling. <laughs> By God, you've got a captivating smile. <laughs> Can I uh, have the pleasure of the next dance? Oh. <laughs> Come in, often. <laughs> Can recommend the food. We've <laughs> <laughs> got the best smoked salmon in London. Oh, slimming. Be careful, you know, you can't go too far. <laughs> oh, you like the jacket? You just got it in the King's Road. Simply had to have it. <laughs> Rigsby. You morbid son. <laughs> They'll be taking you away if you go on like this. I think it's about time I wrote to your father. Time you got back to the rug making. <laughs> hey, where's Merlin? Left you on your own, is he? As a matter of fact, he's got a date. A date? Well, he's not bringing it back here. Not even Miss Jones tormented about creaking bed springs. Very noisy, those beds, you know, you can hear them all over the house. Even when the trains are passing. <laughs> well, it's not like that. Look, you, you think he's marvellous, don't you? I think he's interesting. Yeah, interesting? Look, listen, mate, no. Look, ah, he went right through the desert, through Italy. That's interesting. I can tell you tales that make your hair stand on end. Look, you, you didn't believe all that stuff last night, did you, about superstition and magic powers? Well, didn't you? I wasn't taking it for a minute. He said he'd make something appear. Not Miss Jones, that was just pure coincidence. Getting Miss Jones up here in a night, it was more than a coincidence, it was a miracle. <laughs> yeah, you, you, you're supposed to be a medical man, you, you believe anything. Look, speaking as a medical man, I know that there are a lot of things that we don't know anything about. I see miracles in the wards every day, we know so little. You're telling me. <laughs> Remember that bloke who, who collapsed in the basement? You examine him, pronounce life extinct, three hours later he starts snoring. <laughs> we all make mistakes. Including your mother. <laughs> told him? No, I can't. He's no longer with us. <laughs> <laughs> no, he's dead. He died three years ago on Guy Fawkes night. He had a heart attack in the street. People kept stepping over him. They thought he was a guy. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. I didn't know. Oh, no, that. don't worry. I'm sure he'd have seen this funny side of it, too. <laughs> he had a marvellous sense of humour. I must say I'm surprised Philip hasn't said anything to you. But then you don't really know him. He can say such wonderful things. I'll never forget that night. He said, I was a pool without water. <laughs> <laughs> and he said, I had the skin of fruit and beautiful milk. Well, that's very basic, isn't it? Well, I think the bit about the milk's basic, yes. Yeah. Yes, I knew you'd understand. <laughs> ben Garzi was the basic. I can't stop chattering here all night. Uh, Good night, Alan. Uh, Good night, Mr. Jones. Good night, Mr. Uh, yeah, nice to see you. <laughs> <laughs> what was she doing up here? Just brought something up. Oh. Uh, uh, brought something up. Was it the butter? Yeah. Mm. You liar. <laughs> <laughs> I knew you were up to something. That's why you wanted to stay here this weekend, isn't it? What do you mean? You've been planning this all along. You students are all the same. Sex mad. How do you know she came to see me? What do you mean? Well, I'm not the only one who lives here, am I? <laughs> what? Are you... Are you oh, 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 you oh, so it's slander now, is it? <laughs> As if she'd get herself involved with anybody like that. She's a woman of refinement, mate. Have you seen that woman's washing? She still wears harvest festivals. All is safely gathered in. <laughs> Try and cast any aspersions at her, mate. A good mind will fill you in. Now, stand back, Wigsby. 
Stand back. Do you know what's in this bottle? What? Microorganisms. Eh? Millions of them. Enough to wipe out a whole city. I only have to remove the stopper. I don't believe you. No, millions of them, Rigsby. And not one of them overlapping. Well, I can't see anything. <laughs> hey, you won't see anything. But they're there just the same. They'll come slopping out at you. No, look, All I have to do is remove the stopper. No. In ten minutes, you'll be foaming at the mouth. Twenty no. minutes, you'll be praying for death. Don't you come near me with that thing, then. Yeah. You can... Oh, God! Oh, God! Oh, God! <laughs> Salad cream, I might have known of you! Out of it, you. Mumbo jumbo. Ha, ha, ha.